I'm gonna show you guys how to do a two-step blood pressure. Um, doing the two-step blood pressure ensures that you don't actually pump up the uh, blood pressure cuff too far and hurt your patient. So first thing I wanna do is find my patient's brachial artery. And hers is actually right here, pretty easy to find on her. They may be harder to find on some patients. When I find that brachial artery, you wanna make sure you put your um, cuff on correctly so there's a little artery mark. Put it on just like this. And you can do this a couple ways. Sometimes your patients can hold this. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it here just to hopefully let that camera kind of see it. Okay, then I'm gonna reach down here and find her radial pulse. This is that first step. So when you find the radial pulse, you wanna pump up your cuff and keep pumping until that radial pulse disappears. It's right about that 110 to 120 area. Let that air completely come out. So we're gonna go with about 110. Um, and this is just kind of an approximate, just a guesstimate because that's gonna tell me that's probably about maybe where her blood pressure starts. And then I'm gonna add 30. So we started, let's say 110, we're gonna go up to 140 when we actually listen. You're going to wanna wait a full minute before you actually take her blood pressure. And then you wanna put this, make sure that the um, blood pressure cuff is not on clothing, it's just on skin, and then make sure that your stethoscope is not under the blood pressure cuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and pump it up to that about 140. And then we're gonna let it slowly drop. All right, 112 over 76. So what you're listening for with this is the very... What you're gonna do is you're gonna listen for that very first sound. So as I start to deflate the cuff, you want it to drop down one little notch about every second. So that's pretty slow and each notch counts as two. So as I slowly start to deflate it, you wanna listen for that first bump sound that you hear in your stethoscope. Make sure it's a continuous bump sound and it's not just artifact. And that first sound is where you wanna make note of that systolic blood pressure, that top number. And then when you no longer hear that consistent steady bump, then that's gonna be that diastolic or bottom number. 